get started with Brian. And the first question we're going to ask is, what led you to begin or apply it for your internship? Um, well, I knew I was really interested, first of all, with getting involved with a nonprofit organization. Um, I started off with Florida Alternative Breaks, and I kind of developed a passion for international health care and poverty and development in general. So um, I knew I wanted to do something like that, and I know a lot of people that have been an engineer that have engineering experiences with internships. So there's a lot of organizations that are nonprofits. So why, you know, I thought, why can't I intern and do that for the summer instead? If that's what I'm really interested in, I might as well have a summer that I enjoy and get, you know, great field experience. Um, so how I began, let's see. So almost every nonprofit out there has um, a career page, and little do ever do most students know that they take interns. You know, if you think of Oxfam America, if you think uh, One Campaign, if you if you want to do something with them over the summer, uh, just go over and scroll down to their careers page. They have student internships you apply for. So um, there's there's great websites like Idealist.org, search engines. Um, this field is growing. It's there's a lot more people that are kind of getting on the bandwagon, getting really interested in it. I've personally taken a lot from my experiences. Like I consider my internships, you know, on par with a lot of my um, educational classes I've taken at UF. I've learned probably more from them. I uh, learned everything from professionalism. You know, it's it's still a, a, a business to say the least. Uh, you're not, you know, trying to make a profit, but you have to, you have the same sort of things where, you, you know, how to send a professional letter to people, how to, you know, a ha hold a conference call, on, uh, and how to, you know, manage uh, volunteers if it's a nonprofit you're working with or, you know, teamwork, that sort of thing. So just a lot of life experience came from at least the internships I've done and just it really prepared me, I think, to move on to other things, which is great. So, a lot of internet searching. I knew about a lot of organizations uh, that were kind of interesting to me, and I read about them. I narrowed it down to maybe a list of ten that you know I'd be interested in working with. And like I said before, I, I did some investigation on their internship program when it started. When's the appropriate time to apply? As a freshman, I actually missed a lot of the deadlines, and that's how I was more prepared sophomore year because. Um, a lot of them have applications that are around, you know, January, February, February time. If you're planning for a summer one like myself, um, let's see. The best way to be qualified, I think you guys probably uh, would agree with me, is that you just have to kind of radiate your passion and like explain to, to let them know that you really understand what their ultimate goals are, where their organization is going, understand like why they're doing what they're doing. If you kind of just have your own personal philosophy on the same page as the organization you want to work for, it, it trumps a lot of the basic skill sets. You know, if you, if you can't uh, do basic, you know, computer things or something, they may have another spot for you. Um, I just think that's the biggest thing. If you're behind 100% the same mission and uh, message that they're trying to send out to the people, um, they're going to want you on their team, on their team, excuse me.